the screen for a tribute to longtime jazz owner Larry H. Miller. We are deeply saddened by his untimely death. Mr. Miller's success as owner of the jazz was just one of his many extraordinary business achievements. His unwavering personal commitment to Utah, its people, and its land is the true foundation of his legacy. Our hearts and prayers go out to his wife, Gail, and to the Miller family. Our history here would have been different. It would have been a different city if that team had left. I don't know how else to say it. His desire is to leave a legacy of good, to have improved the community, to have provided jobs, to promote education. I think there are a lot of things that, that we can learn from him, not just the insignificance of a necktie, but you know, I think there are things that, uh, that here's a fellow that's from the people, and he's never forgotten that and it's still part of him. His emotion, his passion, those types of things are, are, are very, very much part of being one of the folk. 50 years from today, if a uh, grandfather is walking down South Temple in front of the Delta Center with his grandson, and the little boy, the grandson, sees something, that prompts him to ask, Grandpa, who was Larry H. Miller? What would you want the answer to be? Simply, he was a man who loved Utah. And I say that all. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, join us, please, in a moment of silence. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Once again. Welcome to the Energy Solutions Arena for NBA Basketball. Before player introductions, we'd like you all please to rise and honor America, as well as saluting the men and women serving our country. And tonight, because Larry Miller would have wanted it this way, we'd like you please to sing our national anthem. Sixty-four years, and in that very short time, never wasted a minute. Loved the state and its people. Larry Miller wanted his team to play basketball tonight, and that's what they'll do. Hornets, Jazz, next. Wells Fargo knows that everyone has a vision for...